Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a game-changing read tool. One that I had purchased in my last summer bassoon goodies haul, but that it was so good that I went back and I bought five more. This is the Andante Arondo Mandrel, and this Andante Arondo Mandrel is something that I have integrated into my read making style and has pushed me away from my old favorite and constant, the Rieger Mandrel. So let's talk about the differences between the Rieger Mandrel and the Andante Arondo Mandrel and why I am now using it in my own read making style. Okay, so first off, the Andante Rondo mandrel is slightly wider at the very tip of the mandrel, about the front 10 millimeters. By being ever so slightly wider, it is going to create a greater arch in the blades after forming. This arch in the blades is going to give you a slightly wider tip opening and a rounder tube. Now the rounder tube is what I had really been looking for because that's immediately going to give me darker colors, easier response, and it's also going to lower the pitch so that I'm never worried about running ever so slightly sharp. This is something that I had originally done to the Rieger mandrels. After forming a reed and as I was breaking the reed in, I very consistently will end up rounding out the tube. The Andante Arondo mandrels mean that I don't have to worry about rounding out the tube after making the reed. In essence, I'm starting with consistency and it's allowing me to start from the original forming place, creating a level of consistency so that every time I get the same round tube. Now I didn't want to just eye up that I was getting a rounder tube so I did do a diameter measurement of a reed that I had formed with a Rieger mandrel and then compared and contrasted it to a reed formed with an Andante Rondo mandrel. The reed formed with the Rieger mandrel came in at a width of 7.5 just below that first wire. The Andante Arondo mandrel came in with a read that just below the first wire was at 7.2. So for me, this is fantastic because I no longer am worried about rounding out the tube after I have formed the read, and I'm also able to take off the second wire. Now, if you watched my last video, you know that it's become kind of trendy, especially with the European players, to go ahead and have a triple wrapped first wire, and then some of them will even take off the second wire. In order to take off the second wire, you need the tube to initially be formed the way you want it to so that you're not looking to round out that second wire, but there is no second wire there. Oh no! So if you use the Andante Arondo mandrel, you start with consistency, you have the reed that's formed with a rounder tube, and you are able to move into that triple wrapped first wire without the second wire, giving you, again, even darker tone colors and more overtones if that is something that you're looking for. So for me, this is something that I definitely wanted to add into my own reed making style. I have shifted the raft reeds, which means that as I'm shipping reeds out, I'm not as concerned about students needing to round out that first wire either. And it is something that I think has taken my read making to the next level. If you have experience working with a triple wrapped first wire, or you also have worked with the Andante Arondo Mandrel, I would love to hear your thoughts and how it is different from the Rieger Mandrel for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss a future video, be sure to click that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.